Hello lovely and welcome to Yoga with Carolyn. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than usual. We're going to have a little bit of a chat, just a, a real talk chat. Welcome to Yoga with Carolyn, teaching yoga students how to find more comfort and presence in life through the lessons of gentle hatha and yin yoga, no matter your shape or ability to touch your toes. <laughs> this is real talk, so I'm like freshly showered, <laughs> haven't done anything to my hair, no makeup, nothing. This is just real Carolyn with you. One of the reasons that I wanted to do this chat is because since starting this channel in June, a lot of what I've been doing is just kind of getting accustomed with putting videos together and wanting to provide a lot of free yoga, free accessible yoga for you, and also What's been happening is that I feel like I've been putting together these practices and then kind of putting them out into the void. And some of you, I know that you do actually practice the videos pretty consistently. There are some comments that get posted, but I feel like there might be some value for us to getting to know each other a little bit more and maybe creating a little bit more of a community. So there's a few different ways that that might look like for the next few months. The first step is I just want to kind of introduce myself a little bit more. So I am a certified yoga teacher, in case you didn't know already. I have quite a few certifications under my belt. I am a 200-hour Kripalu Hatha yoga teacher, a yin yoga teacher, yoga nidra, and I'm also in the process of completing my pre- and post-natal yoga teacher training. For those of you who are pre- or post-being a mama, and then in terms of other aspects of me, just Carolyn non-yoga teacher hat, I am an avid vegan baker. I love baking, it makes me so very happy. I have, I'm married, going on three years in September. My wife's name is Sarah, and I am a dog mom to a six, almost six-year-old golden doodle named Nala. She sometimes pops into the videos and practices with us sometimes when she feels like being chill. Um, but that is rare because she's usually pretty crazy. <laughs> um, I love reading. It's funny, I feel like I'm like on a first date. <laughs> I love reading cozy murder mystery books. And I love being outdoors. Um, so a lot of the, the yoga offerings that I offer really coincide with the change of the seasons and nature. Um, because I know that for myself it makes me feel really connected to myself when I feel connected to the natural world around me. And a little bit kind of deeper, I have, I'm someone who has struggled with depression for my entire life. And that's one of the reasons that yoga is such a big aspect of my life. So my yoga practice, my meditation practice, my self-care practices have been incredibly important in helping me navigate just being a person and being a human. And more specifically, over the past many years, I have found these specific styles of yoga, so the much more gentle, slow, really nurturing types of yoga that I know help and benefit me. And my ultimate goal with this channel is to do a couple of things. One, it is to provide you with the tools, the knowledge, and the confidence to practice yoga, no matter your body shape, your mobility level, any of it. But also at the same time, I really, really want to strive to offer you a welcoming and a safe space to explore what it is that helps fill up your cup. And that might be very different when it is, than what it is that fills my cup, but the yoga practice and this time that you're on your yoga mat is a really wonderful time for you to begin to connect with what it is that really fills up your cup. So that's what I'm really passionate about and that's what I'm here to help do. So that brings me into my next kind of segue and what I also wanted to talk about, which is my next offering, which starts the second week of April called Rise. Root to Rise is a beautiful line, a beautiful lesson that is explored in the yoga practice. And essentially it encompasses the idea that in order to rise, in order, in order to expand, in order to really rise to whatever inspiration, whatever goals, whatever dreams that you might have, you first need to be able to root into your center, into the ground, into whatever really helps, helps make you feel grounded. So the same way that when you're practicing a yoga pose, 
specifically, let's say, a balancing pose, the more that you root into the ground with your feet, the more you can rise into the pose and find the expansion in that pose. So the Rise Yoga series is going to be all about that. So really finding in the yoga practice ways in which you can root into what matters most to you, what lights you up the most, and what is the most supportive for you, especially when it comes to the fact that for us here in Canada, I don't know where you're, where you're watching from, but here in Canada, more specifically in Ontario, we are heading into another lockdown. Um, I don't even know what number this one is. <laughs> I think this is like four um, in terms of like the strictest of the strict with the restrictions. So we're going into another 28 days and that's a lot of navigating things that are hard. So coming to your mat on a weekly basis is a really great way to find some groundedness amongst all of it, all of the craziness, all of life, all of the overwhelm. So this is my second wave of weekly live stream yoga classes. And it was such a privilege to connect with the participants of the last series. I spoke with quite a few of them at the end of the series and they said that it was such a helpful, a grounding, a nurturing way to navigate all of the stuff that we're going through collectively through this global pandemic and just as being humans. So if you are looking for a place to commit to your self-care practices on a weekly basis, if you're looking to connect with others in a virtual community, if you are looking to find a little bit more grounding in yourself, then these series are going to be perfect for you. There are four different weekly classes to choose from and they are available as a package. So you can choose every Monday night, you come for 10 weeks or you can choose every Wednesday night. There are again, four different options that you can choose from different styles. I've got Hatha, I've got Yin, and I've got the combination of two in a Yin Yang yoga series. All of the timing is in EST. So again, I'm in Ontario in Canada, but if you're looking to join from somewhere else in the world, then I would absolutely love to have you there. And again, this aspect is really for those of you who are looking for some grounding, for some rooting, so that then you can rise to meet whatever inspiration, creation, or growth that you're looking to explore for the next few months. If it is springtime where you are, that's what springtime is all about. So if you're interested in joining in any of the Rise Yoga series, all of that is in the description box below. Details and registration are found below. And again, all of it starts the second week of April, but if you happen to be watching this video and you're like, oh man, I missed the first class, all good. You can purchase just single drop-in classes or send me an email and you can jump into the series for the remaining few classes. It's 10 weeks of weekly yoga and it's a beautiful way for you to connect to yourself, but also to connect to others virtually on Zoom as a community with other people that are exploring their self-care practices just as you are as well. So that is one of the aspects of let's create a little bit more community that you can explore in the next few months. I'm also considering maybe doing a few more of these chats so that we can explore in a more kind of let's just chat type of way, more different lessons in terms of how can you take these lessons on your yoga mat and really implement them in your life in the ways that I have found really beneficial for myself in navigating just being good old Carolyn. <laughs> So if you're interested in that, or if you like just having sort of chat videos or let's connect videos, let me know in the comments below. I really, really like to hear where you're practicing from and which videos you really like. I also just like good old chats. So send me an email, leave a comment below, check me out on Facebook. You can also subscribe to my newsletter. I send weekly letters out to all of the lovely souls that are on my newsletter. Sometimes it's just like, hey, how are you? Sometimes it's the latest news as far as what's going on in the Yoga with Carolyn world. So I would love to have you join the community. 